saw you with the broom. Where were you going? I don't know where I put it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice. <laughs> well, I hope you're enjoying this little stay because you were a little rambunctious inside. You didn't want to go walking outside. So. It's kind of dirty. I had it's okay. that table uh -huh. and that cooler was so filthy from the trip. Oh, from Colorado? Yes. Thanks, Jeff, Paige. You know what we mean. All that dirt out there in Colorado followed us home. You should have seen the rig inside. It was filthy. Tina and I cleaned it. Tina did a great job on the inside. I, uh, because we have some diesel truck over there that decides they're going to take I off all that. their pollution controls and it's totally loud. Do what? I'm thinking I took that mat out. Yeah, I don't know that I would. I mean, I understand. And we, it may be later over here. Yeah. Um, but again, it, it we need to wait till it dries. Where are you going? <laughs> I just supposed to be working. I think. I am. Yeah. I'm on, I'm on lunch. Like you're working. Yep, it's lunch time. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta kind of turn it tight. I did. Keep turning and it just keeps yeah, it's kind of a bottom. pain. Yeah, it works just enough. Yeah, that way. <laughs> Hi. Hi, good morning. Oh. There's clubs. Mm -hmm. Over here, we have our friends Keith and Jimmy. They're the ones that kind of got us RVing. We went with them a couple trips. We he hauled around for years. Finally, I just made a plan and bought the truck started looking at rvs doing research ended up with this guy this gal we call her gracie her name is gracie it's a 295 rl it is one it's a 150 towable but let me tell you i would not want to tow this with an f-150 or a 1500 i mean i know by the numbers I guess if you had nothing, you had nothing else in it, it would be okay. But I wouldn't do it. Nice job on the chair set up, Tina. Good job, Tina. Good job. You know, one of the things about going to a campsite and getting here and finding that your fire pit probably hasn't been cleaned, it looks like in months, maybe. I mean, it had, I've already cleaned part of it out, but it was, it was filled to like, like right here and I just scooped it out my trusty shovel but you know it's like really guys I mean look we got cigarette butts on the ground I mean it's just gross not cool I guess I might have s'mores there's a Hershey wrapper and oh yeah so this is what I scooped out earlier and now I'm about to just clean this up and around the perimeter so that we can enjoy our weekend at the state park. Uh, and I don't, I don't blame them, but I guess they're short staffed, who knows. Oh, and Denver and Annie over there, don't be fooled. They enjoy it. <laughs> they actually enjoy that. <laughs> We've set it up before and they would just walk in, just kind of hang out. Keeps the sun off of them. And, oh my gosh, it's a beautiful weekend so far. It was rainy yesterday, uh, Thursday evening, but today, Friday, July 2nd, it is beautiful. I mean, it, it might be, it might be 80. You know, I'm not trying to be a, a negative Nancy here, but wow, come on. I mean, this was filthy. I've got two garbage bags full of, I guess, soot, debris, cigarette butts bottles somewhat melted cans <sighs> broken glass you know I mean I don't have any little kids I got little pups of course but no little kids so that's not the issue maybe one more scoop out of the middle here and then I'm going to start my little campfire for the weekend. All right. 
don't want to moon anybody. <laughs> At least not intentionally. I'm gonna take a walk. Bag o' soot. Just maybe 20 yards down the street. Now that we have the fire pit cleaned out and dumped in the in the trash and the camera looks like it survived the fall. <laughs> Hi Bailey! That's Bailey. <laughs> so we're gonna walk over and grab some firewood. Busy, busy, 4th of July weekend. Another grand design. All right, so we got our bundle of wood. So, uh, gonna go meet up with Tina, Denver, Annie. They are somewhere in this little forest thicket across the street from the, the campsites and the playground. So, here we go. Going through the woods. Got my little cart. Come here, guys. Yay! How you doing? How you doing? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> they're still puppy. I mean, they're, they're still learning. Oh. You could probably let them go to be prepared to. Uh, I know, but I'm afraid they get up. Oh, oh no, they won't. If you have to run after them, to so step on them. two of them here. I know. Oh, hang on, hang on. We got one uh, doing some business. Okay. Hope both of them doing some business, but one's one, one's number two. <laughs> All right, cool. Hang on, no, 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 no. Oh, here you come, Tina. <laughs> I got him, I got him. No, no, Jim, hang on. We gotta get the poop bag. Hey! These bags are almost impossible to split open. Sorry, guys, I'm not gonna show you the, the collection. But, alright. There we go. Done. Huh? Oh my gosh. Ready? No. Ready? No, I wouldn't do that. Get them quick. <laughs> I kind of like it. Well, they might like it. Who knows? We'd be swinging. Saturday morning, pups were worn out. So not only with just the exercise of camping and such, and just wrestling outside and just being out in the fresh air. They were also on a little bit of a walk yesterday evening with their friends, Keith and Jenny and their two little monsters, Walter and Winston. So by the time it was uh, bedtime for the pups. It was about 10 o'clock, they were out. So, Tina's feeling a little under the weather, so I decided to try my luck at fishing, see if I have any better luck than I did out in Colorado. <laughs> so, back home in Indiana, at a local, well, it's kind of local, it's uh, Star of Hollow State Park. Used to bring the kids here when we were younger, tent camping. It's it's a nice little park, um, got a nice little lake, and uh, so I'll try my hand at fishing. Well, it's been a long time since I've been fishing in a lake. The fishing in Colorado kind of, uh, I guess maybe wet my appetite. 
to try and fish. So I have actually purchased my first fishing license from Indiana in a long, long, long time. So we're gonna give it a try. So now I remember why I don't like jumping or swimming into lake water. Okay, now I know why I enjoyed the fly fishing so much because this, to me, is boring. I do not like just sitting, waiting for a bobber to sink. Of course, then it could be really, really exciting once they do. I don't know. No bites yet. Uh, second cast, first one caught a clump of grass, seaweed, whatever you want to call it, in a lake, pond. And, uh, nothing. on the phone was Candace my daughter she uh, is asking her dad how to use the washing machine just saying Nothing against lake fishing, but this is why I'm not a good fisherman. I don't have the patience to sit around and wait. And I like, I think I like the interaction of fly fishing. You're just constantly doing something. Here I'm casting, waiting, pulling in weeds, casting, waiting, pulling in weeds, and just, just maybe it's just not my style. So, yeah, well, had a little incident today. Apparently, Annie got into something and ended up, the emergency, well, Tina had to pick her up out of the rig, an emergency run out to the outside. And uh, she got a little diarrhea. So we're fixing a little bit of uh, rice and I'll mix it with some of their food. Kind of help, you know, settle the belly. And uh, so yeah, not a lot of fun sometimes, but these things happen and you know, I suspect she probably ate something outside. Of course, we give Annie some dinner, we'll have to have some too. <laughs> so <laughs> that's just how it is and we just uh, adapt. Like my good friend Tom West said, you just have to adapt and move on. Alrighty, let's get out. Where's Annie? There she is. All right, there's your harness or your uh, your leash. And here is your leash. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. I got a seat. There we go. All right. Let's get you. You have a tendency to jump. All right. And let's get you. Don't forget Dinner to click follow. Okay. <laughs> Dinner's ready. 
What's up? If, if you're not here. following wagon tails, you must we be dragging your tail. Oh, yeah, oh, that's good. It's morning time, getting ready to getting ready to uh, clean up. We found, especially from our trip out west from Colorado, was wow, the dirt just piles up everywhere. So I think I found the first uh, need for I think one of those moride trays. I think I'm gonna try to measure this and find out what I can and can't get away with. I just don't know if I lose any height from one of those trays that come out. I think this is about 30 inches if I remember correctly. I'll have to double check the depth. 